what's up everyone it's jess welcome back to another video so this is going to be kind of just an impromptu come along and shop with me video i am actually headed to new garden nursery today they're having their plant fest so everything is half off house plants pots outdoor plants anything in the entire shop or nursery i should say is half off so i'm gonna go see what i can find so here are the rare plants you guys Got a philodendron squamiferum for 150, so it'll be 70 bucks. We've got the philodendron mamii, $200, so it'll be 100. Oh my bad, they're excluded from the sale. Oh well, got a hoya carii there, and then these are only 40 dollars. Let's see what these are. Raphidophora dragon. Okay. Over here we just have some pothos. Got some marble queens. Pothos are $17.99. Cute little ponytail palms. Homolamina emerald gems would be $10. They're originally $20. Again, everything is half off, y'all. Got a fatsia here, spider's web. Oh you guys, it's so hot in here. Pretty begonias. I love this little tree here. This is so cute. Got some calatheas. All of these are half off, y'all. Some ivies. More calatheas. These are only seven bucks, y'all. Orbifolias, ornatas. Got some monsteras over here. Bird of Paradise. Got some Birkins in the back. Ooh, I really like this like decor piece here. That's cute. Not for $250 though, but it's cute. <laughs> oh. So I think I might have to grab one of these, y'all. I do not have this plant. This is the philodendron narrow form. They also have the deja vu's down here. Only 10 bucks. And then of course the regular peach cheese. Got some philodendron micans. These would be six bucks. I don't own this one either, but y'all know how I feel about trailing plants. Ooh, they got the Macaulay's finale, you guys. Got a couple of them up here. I wonder how much they are. Um, forty dollars. So this would be twenty. Oh, so pretty. <sighs> this makes me want to get back into my house plants. Y'all know I take a break during the summertime. I focus mostly on my gardening, but had to show up for Plant Fest. Ooh, look at these different bakias, you guys. I have so many, but I think I might have to grab one for six bucks. Yeah, one of those is coming home with me. It's a pretty arrowhead, too. Got tons of ferns. Ooh, this is really pretty. I like that. What's this one called? Fern deer footed. Now these are my kind of prices. We've got some ZZs. Here's some more Macaulay's Finale. So they're originally $30, these would be $15. And they've got some moonlights. Really, really nice. Love the aglanemas and Diffenbachias. 
is my favorite Diffenbachia. y'all got some more of the mini pots over here some parlor palms some snake plants I might need to replace one of mine that I lost got some ficus Audrey's over here y'all these were only six dollars this is cute what are you Polonia pulchra. It's an interesting plant. Never seen this before. And this would be five dollars. Oh, y'all. Some more ZZs. Rubber plants. Anthuriums. Peace lilies. Got a watermelon and some peperomias over there. Let's go see how much those are. So these are six dollars. Oh no, my bad, five dollars. Originally nine ninety nine, so they'd be half off five. Lots of pothos. I love when they start climbing when they're staked. So pretty. So everything outside is half off as well, y'all. I can't deal. So overwhelmed. But I'm about to pick up some perennials and some trees to get ready for next year. So y'all, apparently, all of the pottery is included in the half off as well. Like literally, it is every single thing out here. And they have such cute pots. I really want that one over there. Oh my goodness. I'm so overwhelmed. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick walk through. I'm not gonna do like a full slow tour. This is just a kind of come along with me while I shop. I do already have a few things in my cart here um but yeah i'm gonna do some shopping and i will check back in with you guys we've got the ficus oh they've got some altissimas here barely really okay you can see the variegation there this one's really pretty how much are these fifty dollars so they'd be 25 Smaller ones are 25 and they'd be half off. We've got these. I've been seeing these everywhere, y'all. And I don't know. I'm probably going to catch on the wave later on, but right now I'm just not a fan. But this is the Ficus Umbilata. I just can't see putting this in my house anywhere. I think I would prefer it outside in my garden. Some pretty snake plants. And yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it. They do have some succulents, which I don't really care to go look at. I'm going to go pick up the plants that I want to purchase and check out. So now I'm here at one of my favorite garden centers. This is actually at my local farmer's market. It's called AB Seed. And today is August 1st. They are running their summer sale. Everything is 33% off. So yeah. Oh, excluding houseplants, by the way. But yeah. I'm gonna go see what I can find. I've already got all of their Halloween displays out. All right, you guys, so we have made it outside and I am here for the Limelight Primes. So they are right over here. I'm gonna grab a few of these since they are on sale. Now they had a whole table full. All this whole area was full, you guys. So they have sold a lot already. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ones that I want and then I'll check back in with you guys. I love how lush these sunshine ligustrums look. I have three planted in just a short little hedge underneath my bay window toward my bedroom. And I just can't wait for mine to get that big. I think the lime foliage just adds so much 
to the garden. Like, look at that. Just automatically makes everything look so lush. Check out this hydrangea, you guys. Get that purple blue color. So pretty. These are the Endless Summers. So it's the same one that I have in my garden, but mine blooms this pretty pink color. But again, I could acidify my soil a little bit to make it a little bit more blue or purple. I love this grass, you guys. I'm not gonna touch it. I am allergic to grass. Um, I do break out in hives, but I just love the movement that it gives the garden as well. Got some limelights here. I'm gonna head down to the perennials see what they have. I love coming here on Sundays because it's way, way less busy, less people, less congested, a lot more quiet. I've got a few perennials left here. Some elephant ears. So here's the sale for you guys. More of the sun perennials, got a lot of cone flowers. So pretty. Ooh, most of their salvia and daylilies are gone. Okay, so all daylilies are buy one, get one free. Looks like all of the pretty varieties that I was looking at yesterday are gone, so sucks for me, but I am going to get this um, hibiscus over here that I was eyeing put that on my cart so let's head up this way and then I'll work my way back down you guys look at these water lotus the bloom was fully open yesterday I'll insert a clip so you guys can see it completely and it's like perfectly shaped form but I definitely need one of these in my life I wonder if they have a small one Look, they have some smaller ones over here. So these look like they're white. Just as beautiful though. Still $60. Check out that bloom. We've got the water lilies back there in the fountain. Oh, you guys, I can't wait to get my fountain up and running. Oh, so, so excited. So here's some of the pottery. I will take you guys up front because that's where most of the pottery is. It's nice and color coded and arranged like how I like to shop. It's just easier for my eye. But all of this is 33% off. Oh, we got some lemon trees. More hibiscus, two for one. Ooh, I really like that pot back there. That teal aqua color with the palm leaf on it or shell. I don't know what pattern that is, but I love it. Got some more pots down this way. Oh. Didn't even know they had a clearance section here. This is the first time I've ever seen this. And I come here literally like every weekend. Had no clue. Good to know though, for future reference. I really want some of those low, round, bowl-shaped pottery. I just think pots add some like nice accent to the garden. Gives the garden some height. So here's some of their urns. Over here we've got more shrubs. All of their roses are half off right now. I know a lot of you guys come in and ask me, do I have any roses in my garden or have or tried roses, David Austin roses? And the answer to that is no, just because I don't like roses. So we've got a nice trellis here as well. I'm not sure what plant this is growing on it though. If you guys know, please leave a comment because I don't see a tag anywhere. It's really pretty. I like this arbor over here. So this is where they keep all of their kind of like stone and concrete pieces. 
Oh, y'all, they've got an elephant. And the trunk is up. Not really seeing anything that's catching my eye other than the elephant. Oh, the kitty cat is cute. Pretty nice selection over here. Got some sunflowers, so this is like their vegetable garden area. And yeah, let's head up to the house plants. I'll give you guys a quick tour in there, and then I'm gonna load up my cart. So we are now inside the greenhouse. This is where they house all of their house plants, and you guys, this split leaf philodendron gets me every time I come in here. It is massive. Like, check out the roots in the pot. This pot is huge. I just, wow, you guys. So impressive. I wonder how old this plant is. So here's kind of a quick pan for you guys. Again, I'm not going to give a full in-depth tour. Just kind of taking you guys along while I shop. And they don't really arrange their plants in here any specific way. Like they're just kind of all scattered around. I love this Tropic Marianne. Oh, this Diffenbach camouflage is gorgeous as well. But yeah, everything is just kind of a mismatch. Stuff is just kind of placed everywhere. They're not grouped together by any means. Which I actually don't mind in here just because this is a smaller greenhouse. But when you get to like larger greenhouses, I prefer to shop all my philodendrons together all my monsteras together, all my aglaonemas together, all my snake plants together. Um, so they do kind of group them together. Here's their snake plant section. Slide around this way. This is interesting. Never seen this before. Kind of cool. Y'all know succulents are not my thing, so. Ooh. That philodendron is gorgeous. Love the Thatsia japonica here. And the philodendron xanadu. I really want one of these, but I want a baby. I want to watch it grow. Uh, the succulents are there on the back wall. I'm not going to even go over there. But yeah, you guys, this is what inside the greenhouse looks like. Love this aglaonema, by the way. So here's some of the tropical plants. Again, you guys, no kind of like rhyme or reason to what's in here. We've got some, ooh, black ZZs are $35. Y'all need to go to Lowe's and Walmart. They are 10 bucks. But yeah. That is pretty much it, you guys. Just wanted to show you around the greenhouse really quick. I am going to grab my one little hibiscus here that I'm getting. Look at that bloom. So pretty. I'm going to check out, and I will catch you guys up front. Spooky's here, you guys. He is here every time I come, and he is the sweetest kitty. Hey, Spooky. Hi, kitty. All right, so now I'm up front and they pretty much have anything that you could think of that you need for outdoor living, backyard living. They've got seating, they've got fire pits. They also have like wall blocks and pavers over there if you need them. They've got water barrels, just everything, you guys. Um, and then they've got the swings over here. We've got some garden globes and stools here. And then this is what I really want to show you guys is this is where all the pottery is and it is color coded. So they've got some of their Halloween stuff out here. Some nice pots. I'm going to peek back here really quick. We've got some garden benches and bird baths. Just so much variety to choose from. They've got all sizes. So the large ones range anywhere from like 120 to 170 ish. The medium sized ones are normally like 
80 to 120 and then the smaller ones I think the cheapest one I've seen is like $40 yeah these down here are 39 this size is 69 so it really just depends but again everything right now is 33% off and sometimes they do half off so I just come when they have their major sales but y'all ooh, I really like this one so pretty so here's all the blues I'm gonna cut through this way try not to make you guys dizzy we've got the aquas over there the whites the yellows the reds so nice There's a nice little pond back there as well. A nice serene. Ooh, they also have like picnic table, uh, table and bench seating as well. We've got the bamboo steaks. I think those are on sale right now. Let's go see. Yep, 99 cents for six feet. So if you need some steaks, come to the farmer's market. More pottery over here. Now in the springtime, this is just jam-packed, loaded with all different types of pots, all different colors and sizes. It's pretty much uh, been bought all up because we are at the end of the season now, but they still have a really good selection. Getting all of their fall planters and colors out. So here's just the other side of up front. They have all of their fountains over here. Some of the little statuary pieces. Now normally this is like jam packed with pieces in the springtime. So again, we are at the end of season. So everything is pretty much gone. I really like this fountain here. We have some cute little turtles down there for $2.99. We've got some more accessories out here. So I don't know if I told you guys, but this is an entire campus. So over here to my left, we have a cafe. It's called the Moose Cafe. They have really good country soul food, amazing food there. And then there are several shelters. So there's one down that way, one down there, one in the center, and there's a covered shelter here. All locally grown fruits and vegetables, locally grown plants and shrubs, flowers, handmade goods. So. If you guys are in the North Carolina area, hit 40, come visit the Triad Farmer's Market. I promise you guys will not be disappointed. So just wanted to give you guys a quick little look around. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.